All right, thanks for watching. And today we would like to cover a very neat Putnam matrix problem. In particular, suppose M is a 3 by 2 matrix and N is a 2 by 3 matrix such that mana mana, so MN is 8, 2, minus 2, uh, 2, 5, 4, minus 2, 4, 5, show that namaste NM is 9, 0, 0, 9. And before I do that, let me tell you a joke about namaste. So I went to this Tibetan restaurant and <laughs> They greeted me saying namaste and I was like no not to stay to go I was very confused but anyway so let's solve this problem and you'll see it's unbelievable all right first step because why not let's calculate mn squared so mana 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 so mn squared becomes magic so it becomes 8, 2, minus 2, 2, 5, 4, minus 2, 4, 5, times 8, 2, minus 2, 2, 5, 4, minus 2, 4, 5, and then magic. So we end up getting this pretty horrible matrix, 72, 18, minus 18, 18, 45, 36, minus 18, 36, 45, but notice, here's a beautiful thing, there is a common factor of 9. But 9, das geht doch nicht. So we get 9 times, let's see, 8, 2, <laughs> you'll see why I'm looking at that. 8, 2, minus 2, 2, uh, 5, 4, and then minus 2, and then 4, 5. Oh my god! So, in other words, mana 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 is 9 times mana mana. Wow! So, mn squared is 9 times mn. And let's explore this fact in order to solve our problem. Alright, so now again, let's take mana mana and how about we re reduce it? Because we have nothing else to lose. In the Putnam, there are three hours per half session anyway, so why not? All right, so here are the details of the row reduction, in case you want to skip it. Um, so you have to start with the matrix, a2 minus 4, 2, 5, 4, minus 2, 4, 5. Then you subtract 4 times the second row from the first row to get a 0. So you get 0 minus 18 minus 18. And here you add the second row to the third row to get 0, 9, 9. And then, well, to cancel it with this 18, you add 2 times the third row to get 0, 0, 0, 2, 5, 4, 0, 9, 9. And it's optional, but it's nice to divide this by 9. And then you just flip some of the rows and you get 2, 5, 4, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. And therefore, what you get, in fact, what's the rank of the matrix? The rank of Mn is 2. So the rank of mana mana is 2. And then we'll need this because remember what is our goal? Our goal is to find a namaste and we can actually use the rank of mana mana to find the rank of namaste. Who would have thought? All right, so now let's find the rank of namaste. And I would like to remind you there's a useful fact about ranks that will be useful here. So in general, fact, the rank of any matrices A, B, C is less than or equal to the rank of B. So in other words, kind of multiplying to the left or to the right by a matrix just makes the rank worse. Okay. And here's why this is true. All right, notice the following. On the one hand, we have the column of BC, column space of BC, which is just a set of vectors of the form BCX, where X is in whatever space there is. On the other hand, we have the column space of B, which is the set of the form BX, where X is in whatever space. Notice that uh, this is more specific than this. Because if you have the form b times cx, then you're in the form b times something. 
So in particular, we do have an occlusion going on here. We have that the column space of BC is included in the column space of B. And therefore, if you take dimensions of this, then you get, in fact, that the dimension of the column space of BC is less than or equal to the dimension of the column space of B, but this just means that the rank of BC is less than or equal to the rank of B. So the point is, if you're already multiplying by a matrix to the right, that already decreases the rank. So this part is done, we just need to do it with when you multiply the matrix to the left. All right, and for this, notice this really neat trick, because the point is, what is the rank of AB? Well, the rank of a matrix is the rank of its transpose. So it's the rank of AB transpose, but that's the rank of B transpose A transpose, and remember what we've shown, we've shown that if you multiply a matrix to the right, it just decreases the rank. So this is less than or equal to the rank of B transpose, but that's just the rank of B. And therefore, multiplying by a matrix to the left also decreases the rank. And then if you want, the quick proof of this fact is the rank of ABC is less than or equal to the rank of AB because you're multiplying by C to the right and then this becomes less than or equal to the rank of B because then we're multiplying by A to the left. Now you're like, what in the world does that have to do with mana mana? Well, here's one. Because here's a beautiful thing. Well, the rank of namaste Okay. Well, this is actually a 2 by 2 matrix, so definitely this rank is less than or equal to 2. Okay. Because the rank is a dimension of the column space, and here we have at most two columns. So that's fine. On the other hand, what do we know? We know that um, we can just multiply this to the left and to the right. And remember, multiplying by A and C just decreases the rank. So, in particular by the previous fact, this becomes greater or equal to the rank of, again, namaste, but then add a mana mana. So, mn and then mn. However, uh, this is just the rank of mn squared. And, um, Remember, we've shown something very nice. We've shown that mn squared is nothing, none other than 9mn. And since the rank is a number of pivots, multiplying by 9 doesn't change the number of pivots. So this is actually the same as the rank of mn. And we've calculated that rank. We calculated that previously to be 2. All right, so what do we get? We get that namaste, its rank, it's squeezed between 2 and 2. So in fact, the rank of namaste is just 2. All right, and it turns out, from this we can conclude, because what is namaste? It's just a two by two matrix. So the fact that namaste has rank two and is a two by two matrix, it just implies that namaste is invertible. And it turns out from this we can conclude, because how about and why not we calculate nm cubed? And this is, again, namaste, namaste, namaste. So lots of peace upon you. Um, so nm cubed. Well, that's the same thing as nm, nm, nm. Nmn, eminem, <laughs> or eminems. Um, 
But however, what do we know? So this is just n times mn times mn. So that's just n times mn squared times m. But now remember, uh, mana mana squared is just 9 mana mana. And therefore you get 9 times nm, nm, and that's 9 times nm squared. So what do we get? Namaste cubed is 9 times namaste squared. But then, since namaste is invertible, you can just treat it like regular numbers and cancel things out. So this namaste squared cancels out with one of those cubes. And therefore, we just get our final result. Namaste equals 9 times the identity. And that's 9009. I mean, how ridiculous is that? Okay. Now I finally understand why those Putnam problems, they take 30 minutes per problem to solve. Because I just usually solve the first part of the first problem and then have three hours with nothing to do. So. <laughs> All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.